China claims that with its Belt and Road Initiative, it has created over 420 million jobs and lifted 40 million out of poverty. Now, it's been 10 years. In contradiction, China has lent over $1 trillion to over 150 developing countries and most of these countries are now under debt. Is that why the Red Dragon plans to go smaller and greener with its initiative? How does China plan to change the BRI? And will China manage to tackle the roadblocks it has created in the past 10 years? Watch till the end of this video to find out. A decade ago, China launched its BRI, an ambitious plan to build global infrastructure and energy networks. China aimed to recreate its old maritime Silk Road. By lending loans to countries across Asia, Africa and Europe, China built power plants, roads and ports. For years, the West has criticized China's BRI. The West has accused China of entrapping countries into a never-ending debt. So has it finally got to China? Xi announced that BRI will rely on green energy and promised to stop coal power plants. China will no longer lend loans to governments. Rather, it will rely on investments from Chinese companies to develop these projects. But how will China execute the promises it has made to these countries? Before we answer that question, let's address the problem at hand. Many of China's BRI projects has not only pushed countries into debt, but has also risked biodiversity and increased pollution. The World Wildlife Fund and HSBC warned that BRI could pose risks to over 265 species, including Amur tigers, Oriental white stalks, and giant pandas. In fact, in a study published in Nature.com, it said that BRI is likely to have a sizable biodiversity footprint. With its corridors overlapping priority conservation areas and 150,000 square kilometers of critical habitat. Its coal power plants have sparked protests over pollution in Pakistan, Kenya, Indonesia, and Serbia. But how does China plan to resolve this issue? Actually, since March 2022, China has released a set of opinions on how it will push green infrastructure through Belt and Road Initiative. China has signed over $97.2 billion of worth business contracts during BRI's 10-year anniversary week. During his speech, Xi said that BRI will expand through solar industry and a network of experts on green and low-carbon development. China promises to implement the green investment principles for the Belt and Road Initiative and provide 100,000 training opportunities for partner countries by the year 2030. He further added that China will deepen cooperation in areas such as green infrastructure, green energy, and green transportation. Now, as promising as all of this sounds, it is important to note that transition towards green energy entails higher costs. And when you look at transition towards green energy from the investor's point of view, building low-carbon infrastructure will pose high risk to investors. And China is yet to clarify the execution of its green transition. So far, it has only announced its ambitious plans, but not its execution. If implemented wrongly, China's Belt and Road Initiative could lock countries in debt trap and cause financial losses.